All right, next is a Rico. Wow, it's a plus 10 Krom. Plus 10 Krom with no flowers, huh? Uh, 54 HP, 57 attack, 29 speed, 38 defense, 21 res. Falchion, rally attack defense plus ether, fierce breath, sudden panic, infantry pulse, and QR3. Um, fierce breath, sudden panic. This is actually good. Wow. Guys, this is actually a really good build. Krom is one of the infantry with the highest amount of HP. Whoa, wait a second. You should go for H plus HP then. The extra three defense, I would assume, doesn't actually do as much. Um, here's the thing. I use a Versa with like 53 HP, and in so many situations, she cannot panic her opponents. I know for a fact that if she could get like three more HP, it would work so much better. And because you're just one HP more, I know you're going to have the same issues. Ah, uh, jeez. I would go plus a, plus HP and a double down on this build. The reason why I like this build so much is I usually don't like sudden panic on characters unless they're like New Year, um, not New Year Fjorm, Fjorm um, Bridal Fjorm, because they don't, they shouldn't fight. And when, they, when Bridal Fjorm attacks, um, she can technically have it so that she doesn't take counterattack damage. Wait, no, that's not true. But what, she should never attack, essentially. She's a support hero, so it makes sense on her. But and it doesn't work really work on Fallen Corn because Fallen Corn fights, and as soon as they lose lose their HP, this doesn't work very well. Oh, thanks for the thanks for two follows, Star Canna, and deal with it. But um, I like it on Krom because Falchion still gives you 10 HP back. So even if you find yourself outside of um, outside of the percentages to use Sudden Panic, just keep yourself out of combat for a few turns, and you'll be fine. So I actually like this combination. This combination makes more sense to me than most other ones. I guess you could also use the Renewal Seal as well, but uh, QR makes more sense because his speed is not great. Anyways, between the Falchion, between the Falchion, Fierce Breath, and Aether, um, Infantry Pulse, yeah, I would definitely go plus HP. Infantry Pulse would work definitely though at 54, but I would go plus HP just to make sure Sudden Panic works out really well. But yeah, Fierce Breath for extra attack, so this, this helps out charging Aether as well, and QR, Helps with charging ether and getting the kill off, and then placing an ally next to him gets him plus four to all stats, which is really respectable. 42 defense is actually really respectable, but again, I think plus HP will work out better. Anyways, did a Rico respond? This Krom is really, really good. I actually like this build. This is actually a build I didn't think of, but this, um, like I never even considered this build, but this build actually is one of the best fitting builds I've seen for Krom. Uh, Krom has been completely outclassed by Itsuki though, which is why I'm suggesting this build because effective against dragons and it's unlike Itsuki which gets an extra attack or defense based on order of opponents attacking or him attacking, he gets 10 HP back which makes the sudden panic good. So Krom is, like Itsuki can't do this build as well as Krom can in, a, in other words, which is why I'm like really impressed because this is one way you keep Krom relevant by using sudden panic. And Krom has a greater HP pool than Marth. So this makes more sense. I guess if you had to do this build, you would do it like this, but oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, this deserves its own video. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? 40 plus 10, 10 flowers, brave Lucina. I mean, legend Lucina. 42 HP, 47 attack, 39 speed, 31 defense, 26 res. Brave Bull Plus, Future Vision, Ruptured Sky, Flashing Blade 4, Desperation 3, Joint Hone Speed, <laughs> Swiss Bro 2. So you start your battle alongside an ally, of course, so you add another 5 speed, because Joint Hone Speed buffs your ally and yourself, 44 speed essentially. Swiss Bro, 48 speed, another 4 attack, 51 attack. Um, 48 speed is enough to get Flashing Blade off in most situations, unless it's like the new heroes like Marita, Larcy. But yeah, outside of those heroes, I, I guess um, Sothis is what. Well. But you wouldn't hit Sothis with this. Actually, would you? Sothis, Sothis doesn't count as a dragon. Never mind, you wouldn't. Um, but the entire idea here is Brave Bow. So you attack 1, 2. For most cases, that gets the kill off because it's 51 times 2. And another 5 damage. True, true. And if you have any buffs, that's even higher. But that's crazy. That's 56 with 10 damage. True. If they survive. If they survive. They shouldn't, because that's also Flashing Blade. If you outspeed them, Rupture Sky is ready by the second attack. So, bam, you get 20% of your foe's attack. So you should win most fights outright, because it's 51 damage times 2, 10 true damage, and a Ruptured Sky. You should straight up win that fight immediately. If they're a Dragon or Beast, they're even more dead. But if they survive, they get another volley of that. So... 
it now becomes 51 times 4, 20 true damage, and 2 rupture skies. <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah, this would, uh, destroy everything. This would, uh, destroy everything. Oh, yeah, you're right. This actually does work on Sothis. It doesn't... She avoids effectiveness, but things that still trigger based on dragon type still work. This is a dragon type thing, so it does work against Sothis. So, another example is Marf's um, um, fire emblem, her, his shield. It triggers on Sothis, even though Sothis is not a, doesn't count as a dragon, per se. But she's dragon type. So he doesn't do effective against damage against against Sothis, but it would still do. So yeah, she could actually, she might be able to kill Sothis. Um, green Sothis, I mean, even. If she doesn't get one-shotted. But yeah, this is really, really impressive. This is actually insane. This... With well, future vision gives her maximum kill range because she could swap forward into an ally and then move again. So yeah, this is uh, incredibly scary. I really like this. If you had to do a brave bow plus, if you had to do a brave bow plus Lucina, I would do this. This is uh, this is terrifying. Wow. I'm actually going to update that Brave Best Legendary Lucina video. Because I really think Best Le Legendary Lucina could do a Miracle Feedback Loop. Um, but this would be even more crazy. This is just... This might be like the best offensive hero in the game. Nah, you can't do that. You're, she's blue. Um, if she were colorless, I would say that. But this is incredibly potent. This should strike and destroy most things. But yeah. A possibility of two ruptured skies, ten true damage, and fifty-one times two. Uh, twenty true damage and fifty-one times four. That is a uh, that is definitely going to wipe out most of the game. Whoa! What's the point of this? <laughs> Um, Fury 4 and also disrupt lightning breath, so anti healers, anti fire sweep. I guess that's a really good role to have. Panis, panic smoke to take away specials, brazen attack speed 3. So if you take a shot between the Fury 4 damage, which is 8 chip, and the damage you take, because your defense and res isn't that, that great, you get into brazen attack speed, but. Huh. I don't know. This is really interesting, but for Corin, I would honestly just wait for whatever her her special refine is going to be, and then build her because uh, this works. But it honestly feels like it works way better on like a lot of other characters. And I'll see disrupts, for example, is would be on Nyla, and Nyla would do this build probably even better. But I guess you get Fury Four Lightning Breath, but you do lose your special out of it, so. Even if you get two shots off, could you get the kill? Because it's just 48 times two. Even though you're targeting lower defense or res. I don't know. I understand the point of this, but if you're fighting some like fire sweep heroes and um, some healers, you might not get the kill because your attack is so low. Even though you can counter attack. Yeah, the Fury 4 is definitely necessary though. You need the defense, the res, the res, the defense, the speed, and the attack. And her attack isn't, her speed isn't even that high. Yeah. Like, in theory, this build is uh, very good. It's just her stats don't keep up because she's a Gen 1 hero. Huh. Marita Waifu. This is Vic. Every every single week, he wants me to check out one of his red heroes. Well, I don't then. know why he's maxed out so many red heroes. And every <laughs> single week, I'll mention that. Still makes no sense to me, but it's it is. a lot of orbs, dude. <laughs> it is. Anyways, Larcy, 40 plus 10 plus 3. His name used to be Iro, Iro, like Iro needs an alt or Iro waifu and, and all that. Way to like change it up. Way to like abandon your waifu, dude. For the daughter. For the Honestly, daughter. See how it goes. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Okay, so 40 plus 10, 3, f <laughs> three flowers, really? You don't need the death res. Uh, when you invest in enough units, 
It's life and death for. I would take it. Yeah, I mean, reasonably, you only have so many dragon flowers to disperse. Disperse. True, true, and given how many sword heroes he has, I guess so. Yeah. Anyways, Larcy's edge, reposition of Ragnar Astra, life and death for repel three times pulse three, Swiss Barrel two. It's actually really interesting because of um, life and death and repel. You might be like, life and death takes away your defense and res, but the thing is, you get that five extra speed, it could help you max out on your repel, getting that 40% instead. So you're, even though like against the slow heroes, yes, you are giving up defense and res. But against faster heroes, you're actually helping out your um, your repel three because you need up to ten extra extra speed points, and that gives you five. So it's actually kind of weird, but against fast heroes, this actually does provide more defense. There's a lot of math to it, but generally speaking, should be more defense. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's still thirty three defense and twenty eight red. Thank you, Larcy's Edge. Oh yeah, uh, Larcy's Edge will still trigger on top of that. Now, with that said, that's what I would normally say, but you're at 56 speed already. <laughs> so. I mean, you're at 56 speed and 64 attack. Either way, the boon's overkill. Uh, yeah, it's it's overkill. You should have gone for plus attack. What what are you right. doing? At, and at the end of all this, the decision is to go Swiss Sparrow. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you just need more speed. Especially when you're competing with similarly fast units, and if Boost Regnal Astra. See, here's the thing. Monster. I actually haven't seen Larcy's or Marita's. I've seen more Marita than Larce, but not a lot of either. I think I might have seen one actually, but like I've seen I... more Shannons, if anything. Right, I've seen Shannons for some reason, uh, uh, quite a few. But I'm just gonna say, like, I don't think you should worry about fighting like another super fast hero. Should be okay. Yeah. Probably. All right. Anyways, either way, um, the build works. I know that for a fact. Uh, the the rep repel should be maxed out. Swiss Sparrow into one sh like one cooldown Ragnar Astras. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's not even one cooldown Ragnar Astras. It's instant you Ragnar get it Astras. Every turn. <laughs> yeah. So what is there to say? Like this is this is. There's nothing to say, and I think yeah. there's almost nothing to say about most of your builds. They're just perfect. Especially with light season. Mm, the, the thing is, he always does these like speed plus attack speed two builds just to bump up the stats slightly higher. Yeah. I've always found that stupid. But yeah. You have too many resources. Well, too many units? Not enough resources. With Brave Princess Veronica. Wow. Wow. Whenever I see attack speed push four on a Veronica, you know who I think it came from, right? The only unit it could have come from? Well, there's actually two heroes because Elnor also has a uh, tax be pushed. Oh out. yeah, right. Elnor has it. Forgot. All right, but generally speaking, people do this off of like they just kill off their own. They kill off. That's it's actually kind of sad. People kill off their uh, brave Camilla's, like mm -hmm. a generation three brave hero for a generation two brave hero. Like, yep. Come on. Anyways. Eh. Uh, it, it, it is really good because she's lacking in attack. Her speed is okay. At plus 10, it looks like a lot, but generally speaking, um, it's it reaches... What is her what is her base speed, anyways? Uh, Veronica is 35, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that doesn't sound right. I think Veronica. it's 34. Might be. Either um, mm -hmm. Hey, no, 30. 38. 36? 36 really okay it's higher than i remember then okay but yeah it it isn't like crazy high especially by today's standards okay yeah. but yeah that extra bit of speed helps her out because she can take a hit 41 hp 26 defense 24 res but if you get hit twice you're kind of screwed either way I um mean, you're a healer so you shouldn't be getting hit unless it's the wrong phase well yeah well with how she's used nowadays Especially in like cow lines and stuff, if she can take a hit, it's really yeah, ideal. Yeah, if she can take a hit, yeah, it's so much better that way. Yeah, and you gotta remember when she does attack in those scenarios, she gets the extra four stats and she debuffs her enemy by four. So, mm -hmm. all right, serve really does help the sustain though. It it really does. But yeah, you put everything together, she's she's actually quite a good hero. 
Okay, anyways, um, I don't think we should really like talk too much about Veronica. I think everyone knows how she works. Uh, Miracle is ideal, I would say. Mm -hmm. Keeping her alive is, is, is number one. Um, keeping her alive is number one, and especially if, if your opponent delays starting the battle, because then she just gets restored. If you have a healer, it's restore, and then... Sorry, not healer. Uh, refresher, it's restore, then refresh, then restore again. So you drop two cooldowns. So if they delay the battle three turns, or even two turns, she gets Miracle up, which is huge. Yep. Of Conrad, 40 plus 8, 5 flowers. Guard lands, reposition, bonfire, fortress defense, res 3, QR 3, That's attack mean. ploy, defense ploy, which usually you would not expect to see on a melee hero, but Conrad's like sacrifices quite a bit of attack for more defense and more res. So this is actually like how to use Conrad, how to build Conrad correctly. Yeah, that is that's some dedication. Yeah. Kill. <laughs> this I is hate trying to kill this. Right. This is actually how to build Conrad, like perfected. Because realistically, don't bother with attack. You can't save it. Instead, try and get the kills mm -hmm. off of getting doubled. Because twenty six speed is still not very high. Even at forty plus eight, five flowers, it's just twenty six speed. Mm -hmm. So if you get hit, you get hit, he counterattacks, you get hit again, um, sorry, you get hit again, and then you use QR for the third hit, uh, for the four, um, to, for the fourth hit, in total, four hits in total, um, mm -hmm. being exchanged, and then it's a bonfire, and then you get the kill off, because it's 49, which effectively is, like, 25. Almost 20 damage. Yeah. Basically, basically 25. 25 damage, right? The game rounds down. 24, but 24. whatever. Yeah, 24. Yeah. But... Reasonably, you should be able to hit at least 25 damage off your bonfire, which is pretty hefty for one combat. Mm hmm. And at 49, 46, you're reasonably taking no damage. And the only thing that would kill him would be specials, but you got Garlands. So, generally speaking, not worried about them unless they already had it. Yep. That's... Yes. Wow. I wonder what they did for uh, Sword Conrad. Uh, Good question. I, I don't if think... they had an eye oh. I don't think mm -hmm. it's a given that they would make both. <laughs> I mean, it's not hard. It's not if hard. You this kind well, of I, I wouldn't assume high merges. I would just assume that they. Yeah, if they're committed enough that. to get Conrad this fodder, I'd assume like plus three or so. Uh, I'm not sure. I I think if you make I one Conrad, one copy, one copy. I, at least. I got. Co Two Conrad as side pulls, I think they could probably pull four. No, I'm but... just saying like there's I, there's honestly no point in building multiple Conrads. It's the archetype is the same and the builds the same. It would yeah, just be a different color, different color, and IVs. Realistically, but... if you have if you like Conrad enough, then you go for it. But he's still a special hero, so yeah, this is true. Nikurasu, Sword of Stars, Marita, forty plus one plus four. DC close call times falls flashing blade three. Oh boy, where where have we seen this? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, shocker. I mean, you're using ether and it does work. I just don't like times falls with specials like ether with flashing blade. It's just not my thing. I mean, you get to three cooldowns, so if you attack twice and they counter anywhere of that, you'll still be able to proc ether. Or if you get counter attack get to counterattack on two hits same situation yeah it works it works I, but I'm, I'm just saying like this this build you can copy and paste it on larcy copy and paste it on a whole lot of heroes at this point yeah, it's mostly the slang you, but are you uh, red sword infantry you could probably use this are you infantry you could probably use this Omi, dc special spiral threat attack speed three heavy blade ether hana 60 huh. attack oh man Hello, Hannah. It's been a while. Now, like in English, you, you would say Hannah, but whenever I hear Japanese people say Hannah, they say Hana. Yeah, and I'm gonna assume it's more like that. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's actually what Sakura says. Hmm. Well, I can check. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure. Says, I'm pretty Hana. sure. Anyways, either way, uh, DC Special Sparrow is such a great combination. It's just rare to see this on like Generation One heroes. Not to mention that it keeps you at three cooldown on ethers, so kind of going back to the uh, Merida argument where you're on three cooldown, you have to double, and then on that second hit, you'll get ether. Mm. Except with 42 speed, 46 with Swift Fair, I'm not sure how consistent that is. It still works, but you might run into some problems keeping that up all the time. 
Yeah, see, the problem here is... Oh, I mentioned this was Nino, guys. First year of running Nino, I suggested speed. Second year of running Nino, I suggested attack. Third year of running Nino, I suggested speed. Because the meta keeps changing, right? Hannah got caught in that as well, because... Again, first year, I, su I would suggest speed. Second year, I would suggest attack. Third year, back to speed. <laughs> yep. And unfortunately, I think that's that's where you found yourself because to not go speed nowadays, Hannah just gets demolished by the other sword heroes that are released. Yep, she needs that speed to hit 50, or rather 49. The, the thing is, the thing is, it's not just like, Oh yeah, you're about to get doubled. No, it's also that. Oh yeah, that close call is about to like negate your damage completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the that's the problem. But anyways, um, aside from that, if you really really care about her, or if you only run her in a in arena, if you only run her in arena, attack still works. But if you really really care about her and using her in general, speed is kind of a necessity nowadays. Yeah, but but I get it at plus attack with. Effective against armor, that becomes 90 attack, and that's like really, really potent. But again, are you really? Are, who knows? But I really think in the like next year, armor heroes are going to be fizzling out. They're st they're always be there. They'll always be there. But we're going to see like a lot more Larcy's, Maritas, and whatnots taking their places because they score as well as like say a Brave Hector and whatnot. Yeah, those you're like right about that. Generation two armors will get replaced by. Generation three infantry, so pretty much that's what I expect to see. Generation four armors. The more of them that come out, the more they're going to proliferate. And I'll tell you this right now: mm -hmm. I think a lot of people will be building the flame emperor just right. off the gate. Right. And here's the thing: because there's a scoring max cap right now, and I, I don't think it makes sense to move it because otherwise it just goes back to the armor meta. But yeah. I mean, as long as that cap remains, I do yeah. think we'll start seeing infantry now. Yeah. Come <laughs> on.